Their orders was to gallop over the ridge about half a mile to the left of Gian Court, ride around behind the village and establish themselves there. Harvey got over the ridge with very few casualties, galloping about a hundred yards ahead of his troop. I saw him galloping straight towards me and wondered what on earth he was going to do, for I could see a little trench full of Germans firing away with their rifles and machine gun. I think I greatly embarrassed my parents by asking him, as every child would want to, what did you get your medal for? My father intervened as fathers do in such situations and said, and I remember his words to this day, possibly 50 years later, oh, some man saw him do something. I cannot say what Frederick Hargreaves' motivation was when he joined, but I can tell you from the literature in Canada of the 20,000 Irish boys that joined up to fight with Canada in, in the army, they wanted to show the world that Ireland was a small country, but could be, uh, just hold its weight with any other country. Still at a gallop, Harvey turned his horse and rode at speed. When he got close to it, the trench that is, still miracu miraculously untouched, he realized that his horse would never jump the thin and almost invisible barbed wire. So here we are in St. James's Church in Athboy, where Fred's father was rector, Alfred Thomas, essentially because some man saw Fred do something at Guillaume in France in March 1917, and what he did was remarkable. And it was at this critical moment that Harvey dismounted, ran forward, hurled over the triple wire entanglement, firing his revolver on the run, he shot the German gunner. But Fred really would never talk about it. Interestingly, what he did say was that he lost his temper. So I'm tremendously proud of each and every one of you, given the history of this country, to come here today and to honor Frederick Brigadier, Frederick Harvey. I think it's just remarkable and I'm so proud of you to be here to honor his bravery and to honor what he did to keep the world free. Harvey's most courageous act is credited with having a decisive effect on the success of the operation. And for his bravery, Lieutenant Harvey was initially recommended for a Distinguished Service Order, which is a DSO, but this was quickly upgraded to a Victoria Cross. <laughs>